Hello and welcome to today's adventure. Today I want to take a tour through Gorilla Gravity, a Colorado company here that is making mountain bikes locally, 100% made in Denver, Colorado, in the United States of America. Let's go check it out. Yo, what's up? Yo. This is Will with Gorilla Gravity. So here we have some of the first bikes made with Rev, it's Garfin Technology. Uh, so this is going to be something new that we brought out just this year. Uh, it combines a new type of carbon frame material, uh, resin material specifically. It's over 300% more impact resistant than traditional carbon. Uh, and it also uses a new manufacturing method that uh, we developed ourselves that allows us to make these things right here in-house in Denver, Colorado and compete with the big guys making theirs overseas in Asia. So there's four full suspension models that all live on the REVS platform. It so starts at 120 mils of travel with the trail pistol and the longest travel is going to be the Mega Trail 165. 229ers and 227 That's the pedal head. Uh, I think it's made out of steel and it's a custom tube set we had made for us. So, uh, you know, it's really nice ride qualities to it, but still be really stiff for getting rowdy. Cool. Let's take a peek at the rest of the house. All right. So we're going to have the jam room. Full on rocking out. All right, so back here we have one part of our manufacturing operation. Uh, we have frame assembly right here. Uh, we have our alignment table. It's got all kinds of stuff on it right now, except for frames. Uh, here we have our welding station. Uh, this is where we weld up all the pedal heads, the steel hardtail that we have, as well as all of our rear triangles, uh, which we currently make out of aluminum still. That's some of them right there? Uh, that's some of them right there. So we'll be going to Heat Treat uh, at the beginning of next week. Uh, all that's done locally, so it's fully made in Colorado products here. Cool. Uh, what about the head badges? <laughs> Just, yes. Check out our sweet head badges. How do you get these on the bike? Uh, they have some pretty fancy adhesive. Is that 3M? Pretty high tech. Sure is. <laughs> uh, so we got our fancy Stamper, stamper doodad machine here. Uh, let's put that in there, stamp it up. Then we got our uh, bending jig there, so in all of its high tech glory. Can we stamp one out? Um, I actually don't know how to do that, so. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here we have the Acer Mill, which is a vertical. CNC manual mill is what that thing is called. Uh, so that does some of the pedal head tube mitering. Uh, it does some kind of various mix of tooling on there. So we do manufacture all our own tooling in addition to manufacturing the bike. So we also make the parts to make the parts. Uh, that's where the, the C tubes. Oh, is that the Reamer 5000? That's the Reamer 5000 right there. I think that thing's like uh, 60 years old. <laughs> uh, Moots gave it to us for free, like five years ago. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, Look, Colorado so, history right there. Yep, yep, pretty much. That thing weighs about 10,000 pounds. Here we got a little tabletop lathe. Uh, this is mostly made, used for uh, just making different pieces of tooling and that sort of thing. So uh, these are pretty handy anytime you need to make some turn parts or put a, put a groove in something that's round. Uh, we have these frames that are being sanded right here, uh, and then these are in process. Cool, stickered up, decaled. Yep. Yeah. So the decaling's done out here. So this is the decal station. So these are all queued up. Maybe some lucky person will see their name hanging up here. And so basically, decals go through a few different rounds of, you put them on, then you cure them for a little bit, then you peel off the transfer tape, cure them again. 
Uh, and then they're on there. They're about the same hardness as the powder coat. Nice. So they're they're on there good. Cool. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just got a bunch of forks in. Pile of forks right there, guys. Pile of forks. And uh, here's our bike building station. With uh, no bikes currently being built, so it's Saturday, so it's a little, little quieter on the manufacturing front. The Sabbath. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not supposed to use machines, so. All right, so here we have the Geo Adjust headset, which is part of the modular frame platform that we have. So it's super easy to swap these out. So that's the short setting there. You want to make your bike 10 mils longer, just flip her around. And that's it. There it goes. Uh, super quick and easy. It's a uh, it's an angular contact system, so it's toolless, uh, unlike a traditional headset. And uh, it's easy to do if you're going to like the bike park for a weekend and just kind of want the extra turbo button for the uh, length of the wheelbase. Uh, it's super easy to do. So you, you skip over the rocks easier? That's right. Tell exactly how that works. Pop, skip, and a jump. Uh, then we got two different lower cups. So uh, this is gonna be the taller one for 27 and a half wheels, and this is gonna be the shorter one for 29 or front ends, uh, which seem to be all the rage these days. So let's pop in there. And once again, if you're swapping the top headset cup, you need to swap the bottom one too. So super easy. You don't even really have to take the fork all the way off. So, pretty, uh, pretty slick. If for some strange reason somebody want to run 29 front, 27.5, is that doable? It sure is. So we actually have a uh, secret menu, ridegg.com slash 666 spelled out. And you can find the Mega Smash on there, which is going to be the 29 front end and the 27 and a half rear end. You heard it here first, actually. <laughs> Wait, say, say that again? 29 back ends, 26 yeah. front? No, 29 front end, 27 and a half rear. 12 inch front end. 12 in, like yeah. kids butt? <laughs> <Just> yeah, <laughs> nailed it. The wall of history. That. And so that's the, the first uh, GGDH? That's the first first. So that's one of the two original ALF prototypes that we made in Matt's garage. It's a little rough around the edges, but uh, but it went. And uh, yeah, now it's uh, now it's pretty cool on ornaments. Uh, but yeah, it's cool to look up at those and see how far we've come. What year was that? That was we made those in 2012. 2012. Okay, <laughs> it's been a few years. Yep. Then what was the second bike you guys built? Uh, so our second model was the Mega Trail. It's actually that one up there. Ah, there we it is. We just have a beta prototype because we sold the Alphas because it's the thing about rubbing necklace together. Yeah. And then third model was the Mega Trail uh, or the pedal head? Third model was the Trail Pistol. Third bike made. Yep. Then pedal head. Yeah, fourth bike made. And now you've gone. Really, I can't actually remember the order. <laughs> and then you've gone full carbon. Uh, yep, yeah, full suspensions are carbon, so there really wasn't a uh, price bump. I think the frames went up a couple hundred bucks, but the uh, the complete bikes actually went down a few hundred bucks. Right. So cool. you know, it's one of those things where, with the impact resistance of the carbon, and you know the fact that we can make them cost effectively right here, uh, it's pretty. Pretty compelling, so it wasn't gonna be it's gonna be a tough tough sell for the aluminum for sure. And uh, when somebody goes to the website and checks it out, what's the deal with like there's you have three levels on all your build kits? Yep. So if you go to ridegg.com, you can check out all of our bikes there. Um, when you click into what we call our builder pages, so like if you go on and click on one of the builds, we have three tiers of build. Uh, you can actually customize the build. You can pick your you know the fork you want, the wheel set you want. Uh, you can pick your decal colors, you can really dial it in so it's unique to you and exactly what you want right out of the box. So, and for anybody who wants to start a bike company, any uh, words of wisdom? Uh, well, making shit's pretty hard. So, you know, buckle in. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a wild ride for sure. Up top? Boom. Nailed it. <laughs>